Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, good morning. It is a pleasure to be with you today in this forum, setting a roadmap for Lebanon's national wealth, oil, and gas. This sector is one of the most important files on Lebanon's agenda. My government gives priority to the good governance and proper management of this sector. And I believe such discussions help us move in the right direction. We want all stakeholders, indeed, all of society to participate and invest in it. The potential discovery of resources in our seas is the reason we are here today. It raises hopes of economic growth, prosperity, and poverty reduction. It also raises challenges that will need to be assessed and addressed to maximize rewards in an equitable, accountable, and transparent fashion. Our main objective is the optimal and sustainable development of Lebanon's resources to benefit all Lebanese today and for future generation. As an oil importing country, we have been dependent on fuel imports to fulfill our domestic consumption. This has rendered our balance of trade highly sensitive to fluctuations in international oil prices and the size of local demands. In the, year, in the years 2000 to 2002, geophysical service companies performed two-dimensional multi-client survey within Lebanon's maritime exclusive economic zone. Following this, a geological and geophysical study was performed in 2004 to determine the hydrocarbon potential in the area. The results revealed high prospect for the presence of hydrocarbon reserves under our seabed. Numerous steps have since been taken to bring Lebanon closer to becoming an oil and gas producer. يعني أبو حمد كنت أنت من أكثر الناس المؤمنين بهذا المجال في عندنا والحمد لله يعني عم نوصل شوي شوي بس بنوصل في لبنان. In 2010, Lebanon ratified the Offshore Petroleum Resource Law. This law sets the foundation for ensuring prudent production of hydrocarbons while providing long-term investment incentives and a sustainable revenue management mechanism through the establishment of a sovereign wealth fund. This was followed in 2012 by the appointment of the Lebanese Petroleum Administration to act as a regulator for the sector. Since 2012, the work undertaken by the Lebanese Petroleum Administration, and my hat off to them, including the strategic environment assessment as well as the extensive work undertaken taken by the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Environment, the Ministerial Committees, by Cesar working day and night, and Parliament prepared the grounds for the oil and gas sector to emerge. To signal the importance we give to this sector, our new Council of Ministers, passed in its first meeting two pending decrees related to the, to the tender protocol, the model contract and block delineation. I am happy to announce that the Council of Ministers will tomorrow be adopting the draft taxation law for petroleum activities and sending it to Parliament finally, inshallah. <laughs> You know, it takes a lot in Lebanon to come to an agreement, <laughs> but we eventually do all the time. Following this, the regulatory framework will be complete, 
In addition, the first offshore licensing round was firmly relaunched in January to attract the best reputable international oil companies. We are determined on setting a national energy roadmap, one that merges with Lebanon's economic, social, geopolitical, and developmental, developmental policies. You know, <laughs> I made so many mistakes in developmental yesterday. They changed it to development. <laughs> now, <laughs> I said developmental. <laughs> so funny. Sorry, honey. <laughs> this national energy, <laughs> this national energy policy will be characterized by proper governance and accountability. Cutting across all downstream, midstream, and upstream aspects of the oil and gas industry, it will address environment, public health, education, vocational training, scientific research, revenue management, corporate governance, and most importantly, transparency. Today, the Lebanese government is determined to go through with the first round of oil and gas tenders in a transparent fashion. This has been highlighted by the cabinet decision to join the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative. EITI, which is, which is a multi-stakeholder initiative that offers civil society a seat at the table. This is very important for us. We want the civil society to sit with us on the table and empowers them to actively contribute to governing their national wealth by having, having general oversight over the oil and gas sector. We, we are set on integrating the exploitation of Lebanon's oil and gas wealth in the real economy. Our aim is to increase employment, strengthen our social safety net, and raise living standards. We are hopeful that this will bring about a new economic reality that will raise demand for employment enough to curb migration of our youth out of the country. Notwithstanding the expected positive effect, we will take appropriate precautions to minimize any negative consequence from the production of oil and gas. We are well aware of the risk attached to sudden resource discoveries and we fully intend to minimize any potential negative impact. Indeed, we plan to successfully transform our national resource wealth into sustained economic growth and poverty reduction through the appropriate fiscal and structural policies. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all here today because we have a unique opportunity to drive the renewal of the Lebanese economy. We shall not let this opportunity pass us by, and we count on your involvement and expertise going forward. I wish you all a very successful event. Thank you very much. Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of Front Page Communication, I have the honor and the privilege to present Your Excellency a trophy symbolizing you, walking memory, which reflects a journey of a life experience and a promising future. Thank you.